Hello, it's Artsy Crowshaw again, and I'm drinking Strongbow Dry today. Gabriel's not drinking anything because he's a pussy. <laughs> Thank you for describing my decision to quit the excessive drinking I used to do in such a manner. My name's Polly Monopoly, anyway. Because you're a pussy. Anyway. On 2002, aliens invaded and rebuilt the World Trade Center. So they did. Good for them. Only just to blow it up again, which was kind of a dick move, really. Yeah, well, it's kind of, you know, an obvious target. Mm. And they'd probably been, like, planning this for a few years, and they saw it. And How they cut thought, must oh, they have been? Yeah. They were going, yeah, oh, no, we're going <laughs> to knock that one down. We're going to knock these humans down to size, and then... You bastards. Well, shit. <laughs> We're going to rebuild it again just to show you how to do it properly. So That's, you played the game this week. Yeah. This this was an emotional journey for me because I was going into this really not looking forward to it. The opening ten minutes made me think, actually this mightn't be so bad. And then the rest of the game was excruciating. That city looks terrible. This, it was, was ni this was 88 though, I mean that's... Yeah, all neon 16 colours. Yeah. Well, it's, again, a, still... A resolution equivalent to a brick wall. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a surprising amount of detail for what it is. Don't get me wrong, later it starts to... Especially, like, because this is one of those old adventure games that didn't know how to be an adventure, so it would just add arcade elements. Ah, uh, I love that. Oh, yeah. God. And the worst part is, again, the first two are, like... For what I was expecting, quite good. So I'm like, oh, okay, this could actually be, you know, really fun. Hey, I'm having some fun here. And then they just stopped giving a fuck. <laughs> so I have played this game, though I don't remember much besides eyeballs and dudes in brown robes. So tell us a bit about Manhunter New York. Well, in 2002, the orbs have invaded and taken over the world. Basically, the Manhunters are humans, and I call them traitors, who work for the orbs and basically track people. And the game is based around using your Manhunter assistance device to track people and, and chase uh, them down and work something out. Two pink wafer biscuits are materializing. In this the is a floating eyeball that took an elevator, and I love that. It can, <laughs> it can fly. It could probably just come up to your window. Takes the elevator. Well, it's trying to, like, you know... Blend in. Yeah, yeah it's blending in with the scenario. The first thing you do when you invade somewhere is, like, adopt their habits, mm. you know? It's so, rather, rather polite of them. Yeah, so you, so they uh, understand that they're being invaded by someone someone like them. Someone who cares. And who are we? We are a manhunter, are we? Um, yeah, I can't honestly remember if he's ever given a name. I think it's a little bit like uh, Edward Norton's character in Fight Club, just a sort of nameless protagonist with which you operate. And he's cosplaying as Bob and Threadbare today. Mm -hmm. Again, for 88, I think this is an impressive level of you know, effort and detail going into... I mean, this is a cutscene for all intents and purposes. And No, I think I got it. The orbs force everyone to wear brown robes because they're jealous of legs. Probably. Well, I would be. And see, this is basically the core of the game, is tracking. Right. So it's it's a point-and-click adventure game in that that little round thing is your attention, and you move it around with the arrow keys, because mice didn't exist really back then. I do remember that. It's the most roundabout possible way of doing it, isn't it? it yeah. <laughs> it's, and it really, it's kind borderline like unnecessary, because there will, at any given point, be all of three things on the screen. like, And that's that, that's a complicated stage that you can actually interact with, so it's inherently meaningless. So what's, what's going on? Is that yellow thing the thing we're tracking? Yeah, basically there's been an explosion at the hospital and this is an, everyone has a tracking device in them. They get blocked out if you go underground, but your mad can only ever really track one person at a time. So That guy's moving fucking fast. Yeah. Went all the way down one of the main streets in like five seconds. Tore some serious ass. Well, I mean, you know, you have to get to church, dude. That's... God's punctual, if anything. Yeah, he's got to confess. What he, he's got to confess whatever he just did in the hospital. I, I, I don't want to think about it, frankly. <laughs> Forgive me, Father, of our fry of sin. Jerked off on a corpse again. Well, at the least you're getting better, my son. <laughs> at least there was no actual penetration this time. I'm uh, proud Let's of not you. be too hasty. <laughs> and uh, here we are at a, a flat bush bar. <laughs> I, I knew a girl with a flat bush. <laughs> Zing. And uh, so he's. Occupying a bar with a load of enemies from an NES bullet hell shooter? Pretty much. Well, they're bullets. Right. Pretty sure. Um, well, that's... Again, like, the idea is you watch where he goes and what he does, and a lot of the game is based around, and they, it gets 
fucking difficult is midway there, through. Is there any actual gameplay you're going to happen anytime soon? Um, yeah, so... We're, I, just watching this, is... what, we're just watching this asshole going about his daily routine for a while. Oh, he disappeared down the toilet. Yeah, see, so now, now the idea is we have to follow him to the locations he went to and go to the things that he looked at and did and sort of deduce from what's there, perhaps, what's going on and what I'm... He disappeared down a after. toilet in New York. We're tracking an alligator. <laughs> as if things couldn't get any worse. See what I mean? Like, there they are, flying yeah. in and out of windows at the second, you know, top top story maybe that guy was just being polite and yeah see the doors can't be open and then there's, oh, there's a, a way around the corner so the whole moving the little ball around to really check on what's going on is sort of so pointless. this is us in first person now yeah it's the game now. takes place pretty much entirely in first person with the exception of the uh, little arcadey bits That's and so ma- there you see there's reno davis and i go to my little my mad and, and now um, you look up Reno Davis. Yeah, fun fact, recording the video for this, every time I went to the MAD or tried to save, it'd stop and start recording because it counted as a different thing. Right. So I had to edit about 150 little extra bits into this to make sure it didn't oh. just jump around like crazy. Oh, you were using DOSBox, weren't you? Uh, yes. I happen to know that it does that because that happened when I was recording DreamWeb. Uh. Hey, look at how thrilled he is to be getting <laughs> this photo taken. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this it's is the, the best day of my life. Yeah, it's. I, I love that for a while in the 80s, in the future every id photo of someone had to move because yeah. that was going to make it easier to work out who the not fuck just this move, was yeah. move 90 degrees <laughs> yeah <laughs> Always. let's get the profile that's an incredibly specialized robot i know oh, this is great and this is actually this is genuinely a bit creepy <laughs> what's what's with like the two lines going across his teeth i don't know and then the eyes just start going berserk oh, he's fucking thrilled to be here as yeah. well isn't they? well they're not eyes see they're, they're orbs Aha. They're very small baby orbs. Yeah, and here's the, this was the bit that first gave me the ultra shits when I was just when I first downloaded it you know, about a week after we did the last uh, thing. More of those bullet hell enemies. Yeah, and then if you stand here without doing anything, and there's no warning about this, the little orbs come up and then they just go nee, 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 and eat you. Nice. Yeah, and the thing is, there's no and suddenly you are Garrett from Thief. Yeah. <laughs> that happens. And then, yeah, these are the developers, and they tease you when you die about shit, which ha, ha, is just infuriating. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, and so there's, you know, there's me escaping this time. What and a jolly day we're having as we explain how this man got his face eaten off. <laughs> babies, man. Can't seem to get enough to eat. They've gotta be birthing them babies. Yeah. And it's burp your eyeballs, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you buy also official eyeball formula. You don't want to just squirt any old stuff in there. You seem to be able to book it pretty fucking fast as well, don't you? Yeah, well, I mean, it's like, you know, law and order. They don't show you the eight hours of beat police walking around and getting people's attention. You know, they just jump to the important parts. Or maybe the compensation for when the orbs took over the world was that they issued everyone rocket skates. (laughs) That would thin out the population dramatically within the yeah, first two weeks. Yeah, you want to watch, you, you watch your robe because they'll probably catch fire. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hitch it up around your knees. Yeah, it's like how I'm really glad jetpacks and flying cars don't exist. Is this the puzzle, light every candle? No, there's a that, that, there's a puzzle for that later. There's like Again, it's like any old other adventure game. There are locations you can go to that may not be precisely useful at the time so that he, he right. you know so in you, the in the tracker he went and lit candles so i was like so oh, he just had a candles. lot of people he had to mourn all of a sudden yeah well you know you blow up a blow, blow a wall out of a hospital and you gotta mourn a few people and and so remember uh, he, went, he went into the bar and he went to this thing so it's like oh, and the a, people at the bar are all eating from the trough i see yeah pretty much halls walls balls and dolls is funnily enough the name of the erotic musical i was writing <laughs> i'm not gonna stick you in the trough now <laughs> And I, I only managed to get one song written yay, for it. Yay! Yay! He's arrived. Frank. We love him. No, they don't. This is weird. Like this. What? What are they doing? Well, this huge guy comes up and throws knives between my fingers and because we're forced, friends. Now he's forcing you to fuck, play knifey finger. Yeah, pretty much. I, think, I guess there's not much entertainment in future. And the best period. part is, not only does he like. He makes you play. And bear in mind, you haven't come in here to, like... And so I, I decided I'm going to throw it into his finger first. I think and this, then... is, this is kind of missing the point of knife your finger, isn't it? Yeah, well, I, I did that just to show you this fun little death sequence. Cause you he... to stick the knife in the other guy. Yeah. Squeeze! Oh, that guy's Jason Voorhees. Uh, it just happened to stay in New York when he came to take New York and I hate that woman in the middle something about her smile is making me hate her more every no honestly everything about those three is insanely condescending and annoying and if you miss all together he just throws you out of the bar was that Roberta Williams um I don't know possibly because I'd expect her to be condescending and And annoying eyeball and now you're shooting confetti out of your face Mm mhm New York's pretty fucked isn't it dude future New York's always fucked 
I'm amazed people still live there, given where it's going to be in, like, 20 years. So let's go back into the flat yeah. bush. Try and play the game. The only song I managed to get written for that musical was Luck Be A Labia Tonight. Hey, that guy's looking at the screen. Again. How dare he <laughs> put on such airs. <laughs> what I love is the idea of, let's get this guy who may or may not be able to throw knives and play the game of knife throw with him like, you better do at me good. you know it's it's he, like getting you to perform surgery on me as a challenge if he doesn't pass knifey finger aren't we gonna be pissed off mm. I mean we were pretty pissed off when he looked at that screen but <laughs> here's his chance to double or quits how pissed off we are yeah and this was my first experience with the little arcadey bits and I'm like you know what if they're not this offensive because for all intents and purposes it's simple and it works I was like, yeah, this if, is, if you know, you so. is, well... Oh, he's your friend now. Yeah. And he's got breasts. Ludo friend. And then he just, I don't know, that's the fist bump of the future, apparently. It like he was imitating a pool chain on a toilet. <laughs> yeah, and, like, I'm shaking my head, so I have, I, I have no idea what that communication was. No, 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 I don't <laughs> want to be the teapot next. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not a bottom. And Why then, are you doing this again? Because you have to, you have to... Believe me, you have to do this. Well, I said don't touch the balls for a second. <laughs> Good advice for every situation, I think. Uh, look at those Cupid dolls. Oh, now they're going to let you play it. Oh, yeah, I see. It's, a, it's, a, it's an anti-gamer bar. Yeah, it's a little it's sort maze. of like the polar opposite of the mana bar. Plug, plug. <laughs> this horrible, horrible, slow game. And if you bump any of the walls... And it's really like... You see how I almost hit the wall there? Because when you're moving up or down... You move deceptively slowly and differently to how you move left or right, so you'll think you're getting too close to a wall, but in reality, in reality you haven't come down far enough. So. Yeah, so you see your hitbox sort of uh, shifts. shifts around a bit. I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark at something. Mm -hmm. You didn't speed this up, did you? Hell no. <sighs> so how's your week been, Gabriel? <laughs> uh, you know, not bad, getting my university stuff organized. No, we've had this conversation. <laughs> Speeding it up, like, I'll speed it up if it's, you know, if, if I died eight times doing this, then I'd edit that out. I actually got through this all in one, which I was, because the first time I tried it was like a fucking you know, bumping I've shit. been thinking about that stance of yours, mm -hmm. but uh, you're showing off the game, sure. Making an entertaining video. That's sort of a different thing. Really? I think we can bring across the frustration pretty well if we just cut to about five minutes from now when I'm <laughs> when I'm rolling drunk and calling you names that a sailor would, would If you actually get properly drunk, I demand that that gets put on YouTube. Like oh. you're not allowed to like che oh. cheat out of this. You'd be surprised, man. I'm a fucking lightweight. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Like you you you're not allowed to go, okay, I was too drunk for that one because I'm curious. I want to see how that goes on YouTube. So, collecting the thing makes a ball fly at the thing. It seems, again, a rather roundabout way of doing things. Oh, you just wait. There's, this whole thing has a real secret meaning, which I... How do we come up with the gameplay for the throwing balls at the Cupid Dolls minigame? Yeah. Well, we could do a sort of planning the arc sort of game and uh, pressing the button until the power bar has gone to the certain level. Like, yeah, like anything well, I'm else. I'm not sure there's quite enough mazes <laughs> in the world. Wait, wait, wait. Do you think Have we, we got a maze? Do you think we could maybe lever a maze into this somewhere? Fuck yeah. It's not even skill. No, it really wasn't. Well, it's just go... Go here. Those don't look like QP dolls either. They look like jiggling cysts. It's like having a big button that says press to win everything, but it's <laughs> at the end of a very, very long corridor. It reminds me of, you know, basically when you get the big, the final big weapon in any first person, well, old first person shooter these days. Mm -hmm. I tried playing Battlefield 3 yesterday. I've played that. I reviewed that. What did you think? Uh, I, it is, I, I, I'm, I'm calling them on slightly wider rails shooter. Because that's all it is. <laughs> well, it's it's pretty much the uh, example of the modern day AAA sightseeing tour game. Mm. Games that exist only to show off what they managed to do with the engine. That's the thing. Like in the you know, there are certain games where you can pull off incredible shit, and it's all just luck within the game yeah. engine. So then they wanted to control that and make sure you saw all the cool shit they bothered to you know, relentlessly over-design, and it's like, that's it's less fun. Yeah, I love those organic games where yeah. you can do lots of fun things. Just Wish I was playing one now. <laughs> See, the, the little Cupid doll starts its life cycle as a maggot, and it burrows into your skin, and then it and bursts forth like a tiny Michelin man with rapid teeth. And now we're in Coney Island! Mm -hmm. How did that happen? The magic of video games, Yahtzee. They bring people together and make happiness. And then the warriors show up and beat <laughs> the shit out of you. Yeah. Uh, I think sort of like a weird QP doll based game. Gabriel, you lion, you lion, Gabe. 
Oh, we're not doing And then I play it again. Oh, fuck no, dude. Good. Seriously, like, this is like they knew of mouses, but they wanted to tell the world, we, you don't have to mm. have a mouse. That, and again, there's only ever, like, there was one thing in that room I could interact with. It literally could have just put and pushed left, and it goes beep, straight up to the thing I can interact with. The scanning around in any of these stages is borderline yeah, useless. I've been to that arch. <laughs> I think I was fucking pissed out of my mind at the time. And you've been to this bathroom, and you've been to this stall. Oh, I haven't <laughs> been to this bathroom, <laughs> thankfully. Where's the doors? Mm, we have none. That's what keeps the perverts out. Wait, the invaders were giant eyeballs, and yeah. they took all the doors off our toilets. Suddenly it all becomes clear. Yeah, you gotta sit on the toilet. Because um, remember, the guy disappeared down a toilet. You know, I do actually remember this now. Mm. Like, I remember, I remember what his little hand gesture was. And you disappeared down the toilet? Or not? No, I think I went... I, I, yeah, this is me realising, oh, hang on, I've gone to the wrong bathroom. <laughs> How embarrassing That just happens so uh, often. I see You're pursuing a lady <laughs> The ladies who uh, Are really really Against nuclear arms Although I think That's the least Of everyone's worries Also I don't know What ladies toilets the, the makers of this game Have been in But there's I don't know There's there's not a lot of urine Splash around the, the, the floor Of the, 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 the toilet In most of the ones Even honest, the ones I, in bars like. To be honest I wasn't expecting you To literally be sucked Down the toilet <laughs> I know right Like that I, Neither was I I was like Okay there's a door all open It's like nope It's not even a teleporter I'm literally just Sucked compressed Into a toilet And then shot out Into a, a drain I get the feeling This game is having trouble Deciding on a tone It's having a lot of trouble And suddenly we're in Ultima 5 Yeah and Okay here's the thing That Cupid doll game With the maze before the maze is the map to this. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit, nigga. Yeah, I I actually... So in future New York, the invading orbs force-fed everyone grape Kool-Aid. Yeah. And we've all been pissing purple liquid for the, for the last however many and years. And shitting purple. And shitting. Okay, so I had the... I, I screen-capped the QP doll map, because fuck drawing one. And I had it up, and I'm, as I'm going through this, there's a, a little point where you'll see where I'm just, I just don't move for like five seconds, and that's me shitting myself and getting slightly unsure about where I was in the, in the map. And bear in mind, every one of these screens looks friggin' identical, so if, yes. if, you, if you get lost, the map's not helping you. You're not gonna go, oh, right, this is, that's the rock. It's like, no, the, that doesn't exist. Are you supposed to be, like, pressing all the buttons like you did in the arcade game maze? Um, well, all the buttons in this one are key cards that you need for a later puzzle. Right. Yeah, see, there's a little, uh, enter to take the key card. That was a key card, was it? That was a key card. I thought that was, like... Toilet money. Maybe just, like, the top of someone's head. Just sort of someone just under the surface, kind of doing his thing. Bobbing away. Whose head looks like that? Maybe it's like a weird future hat. Kind of like Back to the Future 2 and like... That's what everyone's wearing under their hoods. <laughs> well, there's that, a... That's the, everyone's like single bit of defiance against the eyeballs. They're all wearing stupid hats. Well, Some people have got Mickey Mouse ears. Mm. Some people have got those little bands with the arrow through your head. Uh, Some of them have got foam dome, Brain floss. Um, it, there's a thing later, like, there are humans who no longer look human, sort of, later on. It's like, there's no explanation given to that. It's not like, oh yeah, the orbs created ultra mutants to serve them or anything. It's just, no, like, it's nah. just all the purple Kool-Aid. Yeah. Orbs, man. Freaking orbs. I remember I was orbs. at a... I was playing putt-putt once, and a friend of mine who's quite arachnophobic and was also really friggin' drunk, so he wasn't thinking. And bear in mind, there's putt-putt courses in Brisbane, so there's yeah, these I've been huge... To one. It's yeah, it's nice. These huge bushes... And the bushes are full of golden orb weaver spiders. Nice. Yeah. And he... Should have, like, taken them out and used them as balls. <laughs> that wouldn't work and be horrible. He... I, if, if, if anything, I want to use, like, you know, hedgehogs for croquet. But, um... Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Uh, I, I do want to whack a hedgehog with a flamingo one day. Like, when I'm, like, 90 or something, and uh, I can get away with saying I'm senile. You're going to have to stick to the bullfrogs, I'm mm, afraid. Well... My friend, because this is orbs things reminded me, he knocks his ball straight into one of these bushes, and it's full of these webs and spiders. And I'm like, I'm thinking of telling him not to go back there, but he's wasted and already so I'm just barreling through this bush. <laughs> and I can only presume he's now covered in these damn things. And they're weird. They're like, you know, spiders have that creepy deliberate step. Like, they're not like beetles that just scurry. They have, like, they put their feet very deliberately in places. Depends on the spider. Yeah, I suppose. Um, but yeah, then... 
there's a rustling, a shriek, and then he just comes out, back, like, smacking himself from head to toe, screaming, Orbs! Orbs! <laughs> <laughs> and just every time, at every mention of the orbs in this, it's just, every time it just brings that memory back, this huge orbs! individual. Yeah. Orbs! 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 <laughs> orbs! <laughs> Fucking orbs, cunt! Orbs! Like, on a putt-putt course. <laughs> like, someone running around smacking themselves, screaming fucking orbs on a putt-putt course. If you're gonna scream something, I think orbs, <laughs> orbs. is one of the best things to go with. Well, I mean, he did just, run, like, straight into the, like, temple or palace or whatever the hell those things build. Like, when they get together, they build these huge webs. It's insane. The best situation you want to create is to make people the next hedge over wonder what the fuck's going on back there. Mm. Like, you suddenly hear someone go, Quickly, there's soap all over my boots! <laughs> and I just wonder, what? Out of context, man. I love, I love out of context. Out of things. context, indeed. If it weren't for that horse, I would never have spent that year in college. <laughs> I remember that one. That's an old one. Yeah. Good internet. This, again... I don't this... think anyone would have complained if you'd sped this up, man. I don't know how to speed up yet. I'm practicing with the video editing software. Oh, what are you using? Um, VideoPad Pro. I use Virtual Dub, and that... With that, you have to, like, uh, like change the frame rate. It's not got a fast mode. Yeah, see, that's the thing I'm... Again, like, you know, for everyone listening, I don't make videos. So the simple fact that I managed to get this to record and actually edit it together... I mean, you know, if you well, saw the Alex Kid one, that thing was a fucking tragedy. Well, yes, I don't know how to do these it things. It certainly was. Yeah, Thanks I, for reminding <laughs> us of how stupid you were that day. That was, li that was literally my first time recording and editing anything on software since high school. And in high school, we were supposed to have this huge digital editing suite. It broke, and we got left with this single cut machine that could do a single cut. Not even fades, it was terrible. Now, I'm kind of new to video editing myself because zero punctuation is basically made with Windows Movie Maker. Huh. It, it's a I was thinking of using that. It's I don't a know. slide... Just... Don't, don't yeah. use it. All right, I, well, use, I use it to make a slideshow. That's the only thing it's good for. Yeah, fair enough. And again, like, this this is the game. I don't think it behooves it to speed this up. It's like, this is the game. This was what I was experiencing, sitting here having to go, all right, am I here? Am I here? All right, over this way. It's like, look, it's the same shot again. Well, you I know, don't know which way I'm turning here. This is in You know, Saving Private Ryan didn't feel it had to completely replicate the experience of the Normandy landings for the audience. Well, I'd say there's a huge difference between a Let's Play and Saving Private Ryan. Because they'd have had to burst their eardrums and saw their legs off. Well, that's why I have stunt gimps. Have you heard not, of those? Not in the audience, you don't. Well, no, not, no, the audience doesn't have stunt gimps, but yeah, stunt gimps, they're like people with, who've lost arms and legs and they do stunt work where they have a fake one on and a blood pack attached and they lose them. I sort of think about it. Aha! Yeah. Hallelujah. We've found something other than purple Wii. <laughs> it's a purple It's an anti-eyeball I don't even thing. know what the fuck that is. You didn't see it? It was a tab it was a little necklace with a little thing that had like an eye an orb with a cross through it. Okay. Which is the unbelievably brilliant symbol of the um re you know revolution on the resistance. And now we've uh, teleported to 90,000 feet above the ground again. Yeah. And we're now going to decide where we like plummet to earth. Oh, we're back on the warriors turf. Yeah, we're actually at the place now. Wait, so we weren't there before? No, no, that was, just a, that's just, that was a video game ending. I think that's just needlessly confusing matters. Even the carnies are being forced to wear brown robes. Everyone is. It seems like this game has just been rattling back and forth between the same two themes. Keep, yeah. your, keep your dolls off a shelf and amaze. That's essentially this. And I, then you have to knock the cupid dolls off in a certain order. In the order... You knocked them off in the original game? No. In fact, I've got no clue how you're supposed to work out what the order is. Is this related to those, like, candles you light in the church? That's a later puzzle, and you actually see, like, a... Oh, you, you'll, you'll see. That's uh, a later I'm clever. And then you show the medallion to him, and he goes... Oh, Argh. what are you buying, Strange? Yeah, that's, uh, I was thinking that exact same thing playing this as well. Uh, I'll guy, buy it at a high price. I, I could do with a bag of chips at all, too. <laughs> I want to, like, if Capcom had any soul, they'd make, a, like, a side quest game just about him. It's it's nice of this person we're hunting to leave so many clues to to wherever the hell he's going. Well, the thing is, you start, it, it starts out, you know, it starts out like a regular case, and then you sort of get involved in the resistance, you sort of understand the resistance. Well, you get involved that's, in that's some kind of ARG game. Yeah. <laughs> Report suspect's name, and again, it's just, well, it's Phil. Phil... Because they just said Phil. Yeah. <laughs> Phil's a dick. Everyone knows Phil's a dick. 
Return home immediately. It's a fair orders. They didn't capitalise the word for. Mm. That completely takes me out of this bullshit. <laughs> Fucking immersion ruined! How dare you? If there ever was any immersion. <laughs> if you can get immersed in this... Yeah, from that's... the last time we, ca- we were catapulted 90,000 feet above the ground for no apparent reason. And got sucked into a toilet. And got sucked into a toilet. <laughs> yes. Thank you for reminding me, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Was was that not a, like a legitimate nightmare of yours when you were like three, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> My nightmare was being eaten by the sugar puff monster. Yeah, don't even ask. <laughs> oh, but I sort of want to. Part of me wants to know and part of me is like, you don't want to know. I really want a pink wafer biscuit now. <laughs> uh, you know, you can get one after this. Yes, that can yes, be a treat. yes, yes. Eyeball, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be pretty nonplussed at this point. <laughs> like an eyeball just bursts into my room and goes, Be, be warned, the robot will explode if tampered with it. And then immediately runs back into the elevator. I'm like, what? <laughs> just, I just don't want to live in a world where, like, I can be laying in bed and have an enormous eyeball burst in and go, Stop masturbating! What? <laughs> Get to work! Fuck off! I think that's what, like, uh, hardcore Protestants think will happen if, if they jerk off. They... The eyeballs are invisible, but they're there, Yahtzee. They're there, and they report yeah. back to God on their little tendrils. He's masturbating again. He's thinking about that girl from HR. You're going to get a bad back using your computer like that. Yeah. This that, is, is, that is not ergonomic computer usage. This was the 80s, man. It was a simpler time. Like, that was back when you could just, it's a computer, hunch over it and kill your spine. Oh, he's a, he's attracted a couple of mates. Yeah. Well, this is somebody new. So you're tracking a new, new, new individual. And now they're all standing in exactly the same pit of floor. Yeah. And you have to, so you, you track, I'm pretty sure the first person you're tracking is Phil. And you track him. And then you have to go back and redo this section and click on the different guys to track them differently. Is it Uncle Phil? Uncle Phil. I don't know where I'm going with that. Um, I don't know. The, you, you'll see Phil later, and Uncle Phil, for some reason, is unpleasantly apt description of him. I was just making a fresh Prince of Bel-Air reference. <laughs> uh, I watched so much of that show when I was little. Yeah, I think that's how Will Smith became such a non-threatening black man. It was a, my favorite um, onion thing about Will Smith was just Will Smith, the black guy everyone at work can agree on. <laughs> Those guys... Uh... And you'll notice there's just there's just four people in the alleyway. They're Remember sta- that they're standing perfectly still. Aren't yeah, they? those guys in the audience. They're, that's a quite a reverent audience they've got going on there. Well, I think it could be an actual sort of club scene thing of the future, like still clubs, where just everyone just goes and is like perfectly still while just bizarre ambient music plays. So like the Diogenes Club, hmm. if you understand that reference. Nope. Sherlock Holmes. Never, th- never mind. Should I read all of those? Well, Di- the Diogenes Club was the uh, gentleman's club that Sherlock Holmes' brother Mycroft belonged to. Oh, that's right. It was the club where you just sit, be perfectly silent, and do nothing all day. <laughs> I like Mycroft. A good character. Look at him booking their way along yeah. the side of Central Park. They're on their rocket skates. I imagine they're actually flying orbs, like those little space hoppers. Like That's where they have those little two tendrils on top. <laughs> they just sort of sit on them and go, Whee! <laughs> Bling, boing. Yeah. I'd tolerate alien invasion if it meant I could fly an eyeball from here to work, you know, stuff like that. That'd be great. Yeah, there's, more of them should think of that. Hmm. Just to get that in the propaganda. Free space hoppers for everyone. Yeah, I don't see, like, that's... Alien, it was like, you know, you probably didn't watch it because it was shithouse, but the Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles... That was pretty shithouse. Yeah. I did watch it. I don't, the one thing I remember is an, the most appalling CG Terminator <laughs> robot I've ever seen. No, I don't. I wish they didn't do that. It was like something out of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The worst part is it would have been better if they just did old stop motions. It's like, do that again. That worked for T- Terminator 1. Well, but my point is, like, if Skynet can make a functional robotic summer glow, I'm pretty sure they'd be able to just take over Earth through, you know, apathy. Like, it just, just present people with, like, a robotic version of something they've, you know, masturbated to about a dozen fucking times, and they'll be Yeah, you can't really, you can't really uh, look them in the eye at that point, can you? Hmm. I, I've masturbated you, to you too often. <laughs> uh, I've completely lost the plot at this point. I've looked just... people in the eye, I've joked off to think, you know, if they've thought about... That's the thing, like, guys don't really fantasize about... You know, I don't fantasize about celebrities and shit because it's pointless. You fantasize about like the girl at the coffee store that you that you're interested in. You know, you, you it's like in you know, what is it? Uh, um, Silence of the Lambs. You covet what you see every, every day. day. It's yes. you know that's that's what interests me. So that that's our target. Yeah, he's, and see, this is you actually have to track him as he goes through this whole fucking. Right, he's going through Central Park, and 
having a lovely time, walking his dog, maybe. Skipping. <laughs> just skipping. Yes, through the flowers. He's maybe he discovers a corpse, like, at the beginning of Law and Order. Sort of lackadaisy about sticking to the path, isn't he? Well, there's a reason for that you'll discover soon. He is walking his dog. He's letting it poo on the grass. <laughs> just letting it shit everywhere. See, I, I got... I thought your cursor was the guy for a second there. I thought, mm. oh, he's standing there for a while. Perhaps he's deciding which path to take. Yeah, I love I love seeing games like this old, like games in that little area where, you know, the mouse was just sort of creeping in and ideas like cursors weren't sort of as set in, you know, stone as they are these days, where it's just like, well, a cursor can be anything. How about a flashing little bulb? Yeah. I mean, this, instead of mouse control, it's like trying to create a 3D film just by erecting some kind of clockwork arrangement mm. that shoves part of the screen towards you every well, now and again. My favorite pet peeve at the moment is... Okay, it, it happened with Shank 1. Shank 2 fixed it. Shank 1 is a 2D game you control with the analog stick, and there's no there's no analog movement in it, so it, it feels loose and weird. And then there was Metroid Other M, which, beyond all of its other problems, you controlled a character in 3D space with a D-pad, which I fucking yeah, hate. That, uh, that game I quite a few problems that game was uh, sadness it horrifies me that we're only half an hour into this by the way <laughs> it picks up okay that's an absolute lie it really does <laughs> I was going to say I'll take your word for it but uh... my word is nothing but lies look uh... Uh, Here's it's another. Only, it's only getting more fascinating at this point, isn't it? It is the most exciting. Now, now like you, you were complaining the other day about, you know, it took you long enough to capture. Getting through this was difficult. Like I'd play like five minutes and just go, I need a break. And yet, it never occurred to you to play like Leisure Suit Larry Two or something. I just think it's 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 more interesting to do. Old, slightly older and obscure games. I mean, a lot of people have played Letters of Larry 2. Not everyone. Yeah, Not well, everyone's seen that bit where you piss up a wall. <laughs> that was funny. We could have showed everyone that and had a good old laugh. Well, but no, I... we're watching a little yellow biscuit walking around purple boxes. And it's... Well, again, I think it's important. This was a game that people saw fit to release and said was, this is good, this is a game, this is... Yeah, but it's kind of past the point that we can, like, complain at anyone for it. Because they're all, like... Dead. Dead or... I assume. Well, people from the 80s are just dead now. That was 30 years ago. They're dead. That is totally the sort of thing children <laughs> of the 90s would say. <laughs> like, this were, game like, was made in 1988. That's the... They were, like, 30 in the 80s. They're probably dead now, right? Yeah, that's, that's how it works. I mean, on that, though, like... What's his name? Tom Cruise is 50, and that lunatic... I mean, he's insane, don't get me wrong, Where's but he's it well? fit. Where's yeah. it well? I've got to say. I won't look at that good when I'm 50. Yeah, I think crazy just makes... Just fuels sense. you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It does something to you. He funnels pure lunatic energy straight into his heart or some weird organ the Scientologists oh, put there. We're finally not looking at maps anymore. Mm. We're looking at an eyeball have sex with a vacuum cleaner? Essentially. And look, there's absolutely nothing you can do in this location. It's like, no. I want someone to be watching this with without watching the video, just listening to the audio. And just sort of like get distracted from whatever they're doing by that sentence I just said. Well, I don't know. Welcome right. back to watching the video, guy. Hope it was everything you hoped for. Yeah, you just missed the only interesting thing in this game. And why is he allowed to put his hood down? Yeah, and he's blue. I mean, that's the thing, like... Yeah, and that's... You know, don't mess with Dr. Manhattan. I'm not, yeah, I'm not allowed to go in there. Dr. And so here's the four guys standing in the alleyway. Hi. It, here we come to the worst arcade section ever. Oh, God, you're not serious. Yeah, okay, now watch Bad this. Bad Street Brawler all of a sudden. Yeah, and you can't... This is... Okay, my, you'll see my character just confused and ducking for a second. That's me working out that I can't just move forward. There's no... I can't just move forward. I have to either punch, which looks ridiculous and t is really... Like, again, the controls for this also, it's like trying to perform acupuncture through a marshmallow. It just... People don't just wee Kool-Aid, I notice. Sort of yeah, they bleed it as well. I think mean, we're all just Kool-Aid these days. And literally the only way you can move forward is by jumping or punching. And these are not... <laughs> very safe or well controlled or responsive movements so maybe suddenly we've been transported to somewhere with like incredibly heavy gravity or something yeah, he's jumping pretty high for incredibly heavy gravity uh, well I have no answers then mm. and this yeah like this guy wasn't too bad because you can jump twice between his knives so it's kind of okay and the last few guys are quite easy because they throw so much shit that you sort of get to them quite speedily then there's the dude in the middle who hits this perfect point of too many knives to move quickly and too slow to just 
get over them at, at any speed. So it, it was insanely slow and really frustrating. See, I don't think he's he's throwing knives. I think he's just trained a load of bees, <laughs> and the bees just sort of carry the knives forward. That's a brilliant idea. I'm gonna like. But he spent so much time learning how to do it. He's, he figures, you know, better make the most of it. I might do that. Like, I might start catching those really big moths and just gluing pins to them. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you cut out more of these deaths, if I might ask? Mm, oh, they, they get cut out in a second, so... I start, oh, I start oh, stringing them together to just give you an example of me going slightly mental. Oh, good. I really <laughs> think you're getting better at editing video. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Again, yeah, like... baby steps. <laughs> well, again, at this point, I was still thinking that the game was going to come in unbelievably short. Like, that was, I was planning on doing Manhunter 1 and 2 because this game leads directly into a sequel. Yes. And then, by the end of the editing, I'm just like, fuck me sideways. It just turned out to be think, really long. Yeah, this is gonna, probably going to be the longest one we've done so far, isn't it? How long was Dreamway? <sighs> Dreamweb was pretty... I mean, I can't remember because you split Dreamweb up and then somehow I go through a knife. I was like, fuck it. Up hey, That's go. a punch, too, that that thing that he's doing that looks like some sort of R. Crumb walk. It's... You mastered it, says the game. Now do it again. Yeah, and then here's me just going, boop. Do it again with a... Boop. With a... With cap- <laughs> this- is yep. that is that man a chia pet? Yes, and this this was the frustrating guy. His knives came slowly enough that it drove you insane to wait for them, but too often for you to like get any kind of movement in between. What the hell is that thing in the bottom right? It looks uh, like someone so- taking a bath in, yeah. a, in a dumpster, and he's just watching this going. Oh, another Saturday night. Yep, repeated knifings in an alley on Saturday night. B carried knives. I'm gonna go pin to a moth. Here's a, here's a thought, you mm. know, you know, muggers in alleyways. Why don't you just instead of throwing all these knives you got, just like oh. put one between each finger and then run up and punch me in the face, or become a knife salesman. Yes, I yes, mean you seem to sell the knives. Yeah. I mean, whatever this enterprise is paying you, it cannot possibly like uh, make you break even in terms of me getting of really close and then dying and then just me dying and dying and dying I feel sorry for the guy at Big W when these guys came in and ordered 500 million kitchen knives I would like all your knives please well, I wish to, to throw, throw them endlessly in an alley and yeah, for some reason there I, I worked see. out that punches could get through high knives but only if you I see time what you're it. doing that I, I think it's like a ninja dodge yeah I just every time he punches, I just keep getting that Mr. Natural comic from that R. Crumb did stuck in my head. Maybe this is like uh, it's slow motion because it's Matrix dodging. And then this guy throws. I don't know. Worst hair. He is the leader, and he's throwing <sighs> Molotov cocktails. I wanna say. Okay, Molotov cocktails that are somehow full of jet fuel, and that's why they're propelled in such a way. <laughs> shooting along like and as you can see in the bottom right when people die they miraculously inflate somehow Mm. perspective it's art pixel art this yeah this is the single worst part of the game was just this drove me mental it's just completely unfun the controls are ghastly and (laughs) this reminds me of like one of the mini games from No More Heroes 2 that you'd use to like build up your strength or something yeah I actually, also, the, the, those managed to be at least a little bit fun. And you know why? Punch! Because they'd last, like, yeah. a minute. Oh, yeah, I punch that guy, and then this guy just pulls out a gun and shoots me, and he's like, <laughs> what the fuck? See, that's why that guy's the leader. Yeah. He gets to have the ponytail. So and then, he, yeah, if he... he was all like, all right, we can use your B-carried knives trick. Yeah, and this throws out... if that out... doesn't work out, we go back to my methods, all right? <laughs> and this, yeah, this throws out all the rules of the last game, where it's just, you... you the game stops when he pulls an armor up in no, some you direction. You can't tell me that mohawk guy is bigger because of perspective now, can you? Well, because he's in the other corner. I suppose he is bigger. <laughs> he's next to you. <laughs> By rights, he should be smaller than you. That's a good point, he's yeah. on a he is on a higher plane than you. Maybe these are alley giants. <laughs> Those exist. The, tri- the tribe of alley giants. Yeah. Who, like, befriend the bees. Is that how he reloads? I don't know. It's like there's like ammo in, in in his hood there. Yeah, possibly. That's a good good way of describing it. There's some some kind of party going on through the window. Yeah, and that's People the great going, thing. What's the hell's going on out there? We're just hearing a lot of. That's buzzing. the great thing is this is how you get in the club is fight a bunch of guys and the guy goes gets so angry he's like oh yeah I'll get you entry into this bar for free. I uh, see we're at the uh, the fashion show. Mm. Some people have figured out to put uh, different colours on. That's the mosh pit. Yeah, and the mosh pit in the like dystopian future is where you're allowed to nod your head. There are a bunch of people you can look at, and 
If you look at anybody, they basically punch you in the face, you and then the bouncer them, comes and gets you. Well, you looked at them funny. Yeah. And now Dr. Manhattan's got comes his choker and picks you. I don't know. I don't think that guy's a doctor. Something about what him. What gave just, it away? Yeah, Did he not seem like the higher education type? I just... Hazarding a guess. His name's Lewis Redmond, too. and this is me realizing because this oh, is me. I had to that again. Oh, I had it. Oh, oh, oh yeah. god! <laughs> it's me just going no. I had to play through that again because I didn't save it, <laughs> so I, I had to actually do that again. And yeah, you meant to look at this girl. Oh, and then, it's Roberta Williams. Yeah, she smacks you and then drops her pass card because she's a genius Rebel Alliance leader. Well, to look at people that close, you pretty much have to put your hoods together. <laughs> I've seen people do that in bars and not get kicked out. I wish this bar existed. Uh, people would get you, that close and look at my face. I think you have to be pretty sure of your game at that point. <laughs> Hoodie man, the pickup artist. Oh, God. Like, hey, you want to put our hoods together? Seduction forum, people, man. If you ever want to just get depressed, <laughs> just read seduction forums. It's oh, God. The worst humans frequent those things. Just creepy, unusual, like, you know, equal parts creepy and pathetic and hostile and bad. I was about to say, with by the imagine word in the center, I thought this was the John Lennon Memorial Park, but then right next to it, the <laughs> Beware Landmine Landmines. sign, I think that's going, I think it going, is. That's kind of going against his credos, you know? Well, uh, I don't think the Orbs were big Beatles fans, to be honest. So basically, that's... you know when you were watching the person move around the park? You had to, like, track exactly what angle they went at, because you've got, like, a dozen directions to pick from. Oh, God. Yeah. See, you pretty much have had to, like, record everything you did in this game with a camcorder to even succeed. Oh, you can... Yeah, and if you fail... There you go. And something happens. But, um... It, oh, these you, you can, motherfuckers. Yeah, I hate these people by the end of the game. You York can go back to the mad and re-watch the tracking, so that's that's York, one thing you can do. York does not rhyme with park. I know. <sighs> and then, yeah, if you manage Look, to pick the right direction... The trouble with the 16 colours, when you're trying to do something gritty in 16 colours, is whatever you do, you're going to end up looking like Oompa Loompa Land. <laughs> yeah, it's like Dorothy when she gets to Technicolor. Yes. But still, it's still quite a lot like my last trip to New York, or at least what I remember of it. <laughs> you took a combination of MDMA and acid. I mean, yes, yeah, so I did some. <laughs> if I was seeing those colours, it's what I'd presume someone had given me. I did some complicated things. <laughs> Boom! Uh, and I'm glad you're still enjoying the spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> That's honestly the landmine death. Like the deaths in this are the most interesting things that happen. Do these resistance want any people want anyone to join? Pretty much no. Because it seems like they're just gonna blow up everyone who tries. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. You are a manhunter. Your job is to work against like resistances and shit. Well, fine. So that's and that's the funny thing is it there's, it there's elements of a sort of better story here and then they just don't bother to do anything with it. Oh my god, Gordon Freeman must have been one of the earlier Manhunters and I don't even know. <laughs> Gordon Freeman. You're killing me, man. <laughs> We're not even halfway through this bloody thing. Uh, it picks up. Okay, second wind. <laughs> yeah, suck it up. I was gonna say have another side of it, that's probably a horrible idea. Maybe I'll have, have some of my sipping rum. <laughs> that's, that's an awesome idea, right? <laughs> Five seconds ago, Gabriel was wrong. Current Gabriel, that's where the <laughs> ideas are at. Current Gabriel supports Yasioni's rum plan. <laughs> What the hell is that? Did you ever play Alone in the Dark? Like, uh, the, the most recent one? Uh, no. It was a sandbox, but it was set entirely in Central Park. The sandbox is spoiling a lot of games for me lately. But the good thing about Alone in the Dark was that you could pretty much set fire to everything, and I'm really missing <laughs> that ability at this point. That would be fun. And you can only set fire to yourself by being an idiot. Yeah. Ha 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 Yes, we've gathered that. Thank you, Mr. Hoodie People. Yeah, I actually played this when I was young. I'm pretty, I mean, I'm pretty sure that is Ken Williams on the left. And I've, every time he has made a cameo in a game, it's ended with me wanting to punch Ken Williams. <laughs> I've never met Ken Williams. I'm sure he's a lovely man in real life. I I I, I just want him to die. <laughs> <laughs> so many of my uh, late 80s, early 90s video game experiences have made me want to hit him in the face. Well, uh, I see this secret resistance, despite leaving landmines all the way towards their trail, had never gotten around to the idea of maybe not writing down their important correspondence. Nah, look, that ball's hanging out. He's got a P carved into his head. P for piss artist. Philip. Hey, someone's been bleeding red. Yeah. That's not on. 
I know it's weird because the you the know, orbs the... will be wanting to hear about this. That guy hasn't been taking his grape supplements. Maybe that's what the purple candy is for. Yeah. See, Infuses see? your blood with trackable purple. See how it all works out. How it all gets together. What does MAD stand for, by the way? I know uh, it's something dumb. Manhunter assistance device. Oh, well, that's less dumb than I thought. Yeah, it's just pretty plain, really. What? Are we Spider-Man now? Close, because I thought it was Harry Osborn just because, yeah, my brain went to Spider-Man, but it's Harvey Osborn. Now we're a combination of... Ding, ding, ding. Hey, look at my face. Put balls in my mouth. Win prizes. I'm having such a great time rotating my neck left and right. <laughs> it's so much more fun than going into bars and getting forced to play knifey finger with giant <laughs> people with breasts. I was at a party in West End once, and it was a friend of mine's older brother's party, and this guy he was like... He, you know, he was a former heroin punk. Like, just... So he had some weird people at this party. And bear in mind, at this point, I was like 16. And so I'm there with some of my friends from high school, and they were sort of doing faking doing that knife scene from Alien. Uh-huh. And then That's this... That's going to end well, isn't it? Oh, it ends hilarious. Like, this huge old punk just walks up, plonks his hand down, pulls out his own knife, and goes, this is how you fucking do it! And just goes, ju-ju-ju, and butchers his fucking hand. Like, just blood. Like, it's just bleeding. There's little bits out of it. And then he just puts his knife in his pocket and just wanders off. Like, just it's off into the party to talk to people. It's possible he didn't quite understand the point of the game. I don't think he understood the point of much. That was this a weird party. You, this is how you do it. If you still got the use of your hand by the end of it, then you're doing it wrong. That was one of my that was one of my first, like, well, this is weird party experiences, because later on a fat girl tried to jump a bonfire and just fell straight into it and lit up. Oh, the corpse of Roberta Williams just showed up, and we're not even talking about it. Okay, fun fact. The FAQ that I found for this, because I was going insane by this point, refers to that woman as the bitch. <laughs> Once, and for no reason. It just literally says, go to his apartment, you can look at the bitch if you want to. What and a, then just goes on with the rest of the FAQ. What a misogynistic <laughs> FAQ. It's, it just, it... it it was it was really jarring. Like I'm just sitting there reading, it's like, look at the bitch. It's like, why? Like, is it sort ab- of creates a picture of the author in your mind? <laughs> it, it plays re- plays retro Sierra games, hates women. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's yeah. that's uh, that's that's a legitimate description of a large group of people. I'm sure. And this is the equivalent of the internet in the dystopian future. Mm. Or YouTube comments, rather. I believe that uh, the olden days people referred to this as a message board where you could post what a using qu- post-its little uh, messages to the board. What a quaint concept. Uh, it's so interesting, the ways of the past. <sighs> ah, Harvey. Yeah. That's important, isn't it? Yeah. That's how you work out, like, you know, sort of the name and what have you. You, you worked all this out, did you? Uh, no. I actually, I figured the Cupid doll map thing, and I was impressed with myself for that. I was, that was my Sherlock Holmes moment for the fucking day. <laughs> Good on ya. Yeah, and then everything else, I was just like, no, you know what, this is just, this is annoying. So what are we doing here now? Well, okay, one of the trackers went to the museum and then goes up into this thing. And say, so use the key, and ooh, it's possible the door. Possibly was just killing time. That's, I know. That's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do when I'm killing time in a city. Yeah. I was. And I had to like uh, live in Melbourne for about a week because I had one event at the start of the week and one event at the end of the week, so it wasn't really worth flying down up and down twice. You should have done just as a pure display of your wealth and might. So just during the week, I just uh, pretty much just went down to the museum, caught the Tutankhamun exhibit. Hmm. Okay, so those thirteen key cards you have. All yes, of these... thank, thank you for killing that anecdote, because it really wasn't going anywhere interesting from there. <laughs> so genuinely thank you for that. <laughs> well, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a good museum. If you ever go to Melbourne, check out that museum, it's badass. It's nice. Um, Though it wasn't when I went, because it was full of school parties. Uh, that and it's hard spoils to, everything. It's hard to appreciate the exhibits when it's full of kids who are trying to fill in the, 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 like, the spaces on their comprehension forms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw Tutankhamun. Um, but yeah, so you have 13 key cards. Every one of these doors requires a key card. And you know that how that guy was going upstairs and going all weird ways? You had to work out which directions he was taking. And bear in mind, there's very little correlation. Like, you have to work it out not only from his point of view, but from your relative point of view. And you wonder why this game never had the success of, say, Space Quest. Yeah, I know. Or it's... even King's Quest. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it, it's a little bit like, um... Uh, what's that damn thing called? Shenmue. Oh, yes. it, it, it had a first part, a second part, and a promise a third part, and it just never eventuated. A, I will avenge my father after I'm done working down the forklift <laughs> docks. Mine-san, what do you know about 
Sailors. <laughs> I I loved that game when it came out. I had that on the Dreamcast. It was awesome. I'm looking for sailors. I'm looking for sailors. I'm and, looking for some uh, rough trade. Hey, g'day. I drive a forklift. Looking for sailors. <laughs> Who wants a quick time event? <laughs> Mate, I mean, that was the game that pretty much came up with the term quick time. Yeah, that was that was where they came from. So that's the one you have to blame. It was amazing and cool at the time though because it was like wow the cutscenes and I punch in them it was, <laughs> it was it was it was a big deal when it happened and little did we know you know heroin used to be a really good painkiller and now it's heroin I got amazingly good news hmm? we're actually at the halfway point oh, fuck yeah what are we doing now oh uh, don't worry dude there's there's a really awesome sequence where you get to see a dragon awesome are you, are you, is, is that serious yes Okay. There is. I, I wasn't sure, because, you know, dragon, it seems kind of incongruous, but... It really does, doesn't it? Like, this doesn't look like the game <laughs> where a dragon would make sense or be in it at all, let alone where it is and why. I think pretty much anything would make sense after the being sucked down a toilet. <sighs> yeah, that is bizarrely comical. And yet, having said that, dragons being sucked down a toilet, it's still not the same sort of level of random, is it? No. And it never... It sets out to be funny, it just... Well, sort of. I mean, I don't think the sucking down the toilet was meant to be... Oh, ha, 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 ha. You know, not like Space Quest or Legacy Larry that had an actual sort of vein of humour throbbing through it. And even those wouldn't suck you down a toilet. No, that was very base humour. Legacy Larry was far more highbrow. Yeah, Legacy Larry just, just flooded the room and killed you if you tried to flush. <laughs> <He> did anything. <laughs> Yeah, and then Medieval Door. Why is that there? I'm surprised there are less bullshit deaths in this game than Sierra games usually have. Oh, spoke too soon. Show you the eight hours of beat police walking around and getting people's attention. You know, they just jump to the important parts. Or maybe the compensation for when the orbs took over the world was that they issued everyone rocket skates. <laughs> that would thin out the population dramatically within the yeah, first two weeks. Yeah, you want to watch, you, you want to watch your robe because they'll probably catch fire. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hitch it up around your knees. Yeah, it's like how I'm really glad jetpacks and flying cars don't exist. Is this the puzzle? Light every candle. No, there's a that, there's a puzzle for that later. I just, like again, it's like any old other adventure game. There are locations you can go to that may not be precisely useful at the time so that he, he right. you know so in you, the in the tracker he went and lit candles so i was like oh, so he just had a candles. lot of people he had to mourn all of a sudden yeah well you know you blow up a blow, blow a wall out of a hospital and you gotta mourn a few people and so remember uh, he, went, he went into the bar and he went to this thing so it's like oh, and it's the a, people at the bar are all eating from the trough i see yeah pretty much halls walls balls and dolls is funnily enough the name of the erotic musical i was writing <laughs> i'm not gonna stick you in the trough now <laughs> And I, I only managed to get one song written yay, for it. Yay, yay, he's arrived, Frank. we love him. No, they don't. This is weird, like this... What, what are they doing? Well, this huge guy comes up and throws knives between my fingers and because we're forced, friends. Now he's forcing you to fuck play knifey finger. Yeah, pretty much. I, think, I guess there's not much entertainment in future. And the best part yet. is, not only does he, like... He makes you play. And bear in mind, you haven't come in here to, like... <laughs> and so I, I decided I'm going to throw it into his finger first. I think and this, then... is, this is kind of missing the point of knife your finger, isn't it? Yeah, well, I, I did that just to show you this fun little death sequence. Cause you he... to stick the knife in the other guy. Yeah. Squeeze! Oh, that guy's Jason Voorhees. It just happened to stay in New York when he came to take New York. And... I hate that woman in the middle. Something about her smile is making me hate her more or less. Yeah, fun fact, recording the video for this, every time I went to the mad or tried to save, it'd stop and start recording because it counted as a different thing. Right. So I had to edit about 150 little extra bits into this to make sure it didn't uh, just jump around like crazy. Oh, you were using DOSBox, weren't you? Uh, yes. I happen to know that it does that because that happened when I was recording Dreamweb. Uh, hey, look at how thrilled he is to be getting <laughs> this photo taken. Uh, 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 <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Yeah, it's. I, I love that for a while in the 80s, in the future, every ID photo of someone had to move because yeah. that was going to make it easier to work out who Not the fuck was. Not just move. Yeah. Move 90 degrees. <laughs> yeah. Always. Let's get the profile. That's an incredibly specialised robot. I know. Oh, this is great. And this is... Actually, this is genuinely a bit creepy. <laughs> what's, what's with, like, the two lines going across his teeth? I don't know. And then, you know, it's just start going berserk. Oh, he's fucking thrilled to be here as yeah. well, isn't he? Well, they're not eyes, see, they're, they're orbs. Aha! They're very small baby orbs. Yeah, and here's... This was the bit that first gave me the ultra shits when I was just 
when I first downloaded it, you know, about a week after we did the last uh, thing. More of those bullet hell enemies. Yeah, and then if you stand here without doing anything, and there's no warning about this, the little orbs come up, and then they just go, nee, 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 and eat you. Nice. Yeah, and the thing is, there's no... And suddenly you are Garrett from Thief. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. And then, yeah, these are the developers, and they tease you when you die about shit, which ha, is ha, just ha. infuriating. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, and so there's, you know, there's me escaping this time. It's and a jolly day we're having as we explain how this man got his face eaten off. <laughs> babies, man. Can't seem to get enough to eat. They've got to be birthing them babies. Yeah. yeah let's burp your eyeballs, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you buy also official eyeball formula. You don't want to squirt any old stuff in there. You seem to be able to book it pretty fucking fast as well, don't you? Yeah, well, I mean, it's like, you know, law and order. They don't... Fast? Sh yeah. Went all the way down one of the main streets in, like, five seconds. Tore some serious ass. Well, I mean, you know, you have to get to church, dude. That's... God's punctual, if anything. Yeah, he's got to confess. What he, he's got to confess whatever he just did in the hospital. I, I those... don't want to think about it, frankly. <laughs> Forgive me, Father, of our have sinned. Jerked off on a corpse again. Well, at the least you're getting better, my son. <laughs> at least there was no actual penetration this time. I'm uh, proud let's of not you. not be too hasty. And uh, here we are at a, a flat bush bar. <laughs> I, I knew a girl with a flat bush. <laughs> Zing. And uh, so he's... Occupying a bar with a load of enemies from an NES bullet hell shooter? Pretty much. Well, they're bullets. I'm right. Pretty sure. um, well, that's... Again, like, the idea is you watch where he goes and what he does, and a lot of the game is based around, and they, it gets fucking difficult is midway there, through. Is there any actual gameplay going to happen anytime soon? Um, yeah, so... We're, just watching, this, is... we're just watching this asshole going about his daily routine for a while. <laughs> oh, he disappeared down the toilet. Yeah, see, so now now the idea is we have to follow him to the locations he went to and go to the things that he looked at and did and sort of deduce from what's there, perhaps, what's going on and what I'm... He disappeared down a toilet in New York. We're tracking an alligator. <laughs> as if things couldn't get any worse. See what I mean? Like, there they are, flying yeah. in and out of windows at the second, you know, top Top story. Maybe that guy was just being polite. And yeah, see, the doors can't be open, and then there's, oh, there's a, a way around the corner. So the whole moving the little ball around to really check on what's going on is sort of. So pointless. this is us in first person now. Yeah, it's the game yeah. takes place pretty much entirely in first person, with the exception of the uh, little arcadey bits. That's and so there, you see, there's Reno Davis, and I go to my little, my mad, and, and now um, you look up Reno Davis, invaded and uh, taken over the world. Basically, the Manhunters are humans, and I call them traitors, who work for the orbs and basically track people. And the game is based around using your Manhunter assistance device to track people and, and chase uh, them down and work something out. Two pink wafer biscuits are materializing. In this the is a floating eyeball that took an elevator, and I love that. It can, <laughs> it can fly. It could probably just come up to your window. Takes the elevator. Well, it's trying to, like, you know... Blend in. Yeah, yeah it's blending in with the scenario. The first thing you do when you invade somewhere is, like, adopt their habits, mm. you know? It's so rather, rather polite of them. Yeah, so you, so they uh, understand that they're being invaded by someone someone like them. Someone who cares. And who are we? We are a manhunter, are we? Um, yeah, I can't honestly remember if he's ever given a name. I think it's a little bit like uh, Edward Norton's character in Fight Club, just a sort of nameless protagonist with which you operate. And he's cosplaying as Bob and Threadbare today. Mm -hmm. Again, for 88, I think this is an impressive level of you know, effort and detail going into... I mean, this is a cutscene for all intents and purposes. And No, I think I got it. The orbs force everyone to wear brown robes because they're jealous of legs. Probably. Well, I would be. And see, this is basically the core of the game, is tracking. Right. So it's it's a point-and-click adventure game in that that little round thing is your attention, and you move it around with the arrow keys, because mice didn't exist really back then. I do remember that. It's the most roundabout possible way of doing it, isn't it? it yeah. <laughs> it's, and it really, it's Come borderline like unnecessary, because there will, at any given point, be all of three things on the screen. like, And that's that, that's a complicated stage that you can actually interact with, so it's inherently meaningless. So what's, what's going on? Is that yellow thing the thing we're tracking? Yeah, basically there's been an explosion at the hospital and this is an, everyone has a tracking device in them. They get blocked out if you go underground, but your mad can only ever really track one person at a time, so... That guy's moving fucking fast. Hello, it's Artsy Crochet again, and I'm drinking Strongbow Dry today. Gabriel's not drinking anything because he's a pussy. <laughs> Thank you for describing my decision to quit the excessive drinking I used to do in such a manner. My name's Polly Monopoly, anyway. Because you're a pussy. Anyway. On 2002, aliens invaded and rebuilt the World Trade Center. So they did. Good for them. Only just to blow it up again, which was kind of a dick move, really. 
Yeah, well, it's kind of, you know, an obvious target. Mm. And they'd probably been, like, planning this for a few years, and they saw it. And How cut thought, must oh, they have been? Yeah. They were going, yeah, <laughs> oh, no, we're going to knock that one down. We're going to knock these humans down to size. And then, you bastards. Well, shit. <laughs> we're going to rebuild it again just to show you how to do it properly. So That's... you played the game this week. Yeah. This this was an emotional journey for me because I was going into this really not looking forward to it. The opening ten minutes made me think, actually this mightn't be so bad. And then the rest of the game was excruciating. That city looks terrible. This it was was ni- this was eighty eight though. I mean that's yeah, old neon sixteen colors. Yeah, well it's I can still a resolution equivalent to a brick wall. <laughs> But I mean, there's a surprising amount of detail for what it is. Don't get me wrong, later it starts to, especially like, because this is one of those old adventure games that didn't know how to be an adventure, so it would just add arcade elements. Ah, I love that. Oh, God. And the worst part is, again, the first two are like, for what I was expecting, quite good. So I'm like, oh, okay, this could actually be, you know, really fun. Hey, I'm having some fun here. And then they just stopped giving a fuck. (laughs) So I have played this game, though I don't remember much besides eyeballs and dudes in brown robes. So tell us a bit about Manhunter New York. Well, in 2002, the orbs of 